everybody. This is our week one video for our Dana and Tommy litter. I'm here with the 10 puppies. Dana had five girls and five boys on June the 1st. Um, all of these puppies are spoken for. We've all got a home and uh, they are doing great. We went for our first uh, vet visit to get our dew claws removed and um, our vet said that everybody looked great. We're gaining weight. Um, you'll see right here, this is the little guy, Mr. Blue. He's starting to get much, much bigger. Um, and you'll also see that Mr. Green right here has a little bit of a green tint to his fur. Um, I explained also in the post earlier, so I won't go into as much detail, but it's just basically um, the fluid that got mixed into his sack when he was born, stained his coat. Um, we've had it happen. He's, we've had them be this color green before. Um, by the time he's five weeks old, he'll look just like the rest of these guys um, with his white cream coat. So, sorry, he will not stay green. There'll be no green golden retriever, but um, he's perfectly normal, just like everybody else. Um, the collars that they have on right now are the same color collar that they will wear until they go home. Uh, this way that when you guys watch our weekly videos every week, you'll be able to see who's who and kind of how, how they've changed and follow them all the way around. Um, once they turn six weeks old, that's when we'll start our picking process. So you'll have this video plus five more before we actually pick. Uh, the first couple weeks, they don't do much. This is it right here. Um, their eyes are not open. Uh, you'll see they're starting to, of course they can shuffle around, but they're, they're not really crawling very well or anything. They just kind of scoop right now. Um, so over the next couple weeks, they will, they will change a lot. Big, around week four is when their little personalities and, and temperaments really start to come out and you'll, you'll see a lot of that. So each week we'll do these videos where we uh, tell you what we see, um, let you know how they interact with each other. You'll be able to see them interact with me. Uh, we have Dana out right now. She is doing great. She's an excellent mom. If she was in here, you would never see the puppies because she was right here on top of them the whole time. So for the videos, we do have to take her out, but she's doing great. She's keeping them clean. She's keeping them fed. Um, so she is a really, really good mom. And uh, she, she doesn't really like being away from them. I'm surprised we haven't heard her whine a little bit. Maybe she's enjoying her slight little vacation for the few minutes that we've got. Um, they are born June 1st. They will go home July the 27th. Well, when we get closer, um, we can pick, you know, start working on our pickup dates and, and getting the puppies to their, their new homes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them up, introduce them all to you, tell you their weight. And like I said, this, there's not, um, there's really not much to see right now. And there won't be much to see next week either. Um, it's just basically right now they're just they're growing and, and uh, getting used to being in the world. So I'm gonna step in here. Hey puppies. All right, so we're gonna start with the girls first. So right here, we've got Miss Pink. Uh, Miss Pink is 1.2 pounds. Like I said, eyes aren't open yet. Um, so they just basically sleep and eat and fall asleep while they're eating. Don't you Miss Pink? She's tongue out. Oh my goodness. Life is tough, isn't it? So this is Miss Pink. And next over here by herself is Miss Purple. Miss Purple is also 1.2 pounds. So, oh, they are sleepy. We are so sleepy. So this is Miss Purple. Mm. All right, Miss Gray. Um, man, you guys are so tired. This is Miss Gray. Miss Gray is 1.4 pounds. You'll see also that their, um, their pigment's starting to come in. Um, their paws right now are still kind of pink. You can also see that's where their dew claws were removed. But their nose is starting to turn black, so their pigment's starting to come in really nice. They're really pretty puppies. 
So this is Miss Gray, 1.4 pounds. And now for our chunky, chunky girl. This girl right here, she came out this size almost. She was, when she was born, she was one of the first ones born. Um, I thought, oh my goodness, if all of these puppies are this size, they are huge. So this is Miss Yellow. Miss Yellow is 1.6 pounds. Um, she's the bully at the dinner table. She will push everybody out of the way. You can see this belly right here. Make sure that she gets a full belly full. Yes, you are. Say, so I'm gonna be a big girl. And was, when Dana, um, when the puppies were first born, the first four were girls. And I thought we are gonna have a litter of nothing but girls. But then we had number four was a boy and then they started to, the boys started to come. So this is Miss Yellow, our biggest female. And she's also tied as one of our, our biggest puppies, but we'll get to the other one in a minute. So we've got Miss. Oh, you're at the bottom. I gotta move everybody. This is Miss Orange. Miss Orange is also 1.2 pounds. So Miss Orange, Miss Purple, and Miss Pink are all the same size. Um, and then we've got Miss Gray and Miss Yellow who are are just a little bit bigger. So the girls are all pretty pretty close in size. So this is Miss Orange. All right, now for our boys. And he is right here. I'm sorry, Miss B. I don't need to bring I gotta get to this guy. There's Mr. Red. Mr. Red is 1.2 pounds. Like I said, that's kind of the going rate right now. Um, for for all the puppies very close and they are all gaining weight yes we are I wish I had your life just sleep all day and eat wouldn't that be nice yeah <laughs> this is mr. red all right now for the smallest guy or the smallest puppy he's actually not the smallest anymore um, but when he came out, he was very, very tiny. So we spent a lot of time making sure that he got enough to eat. And I will tell you, he has learned his way around the dinner table. He will push some of the bigger ones out of the way. Um, so we have, we, we're not worried about him at all anymore. He is, uh, he's definitely learned to, uh, to fight his way through. But when he came out, he was a lot smaller than the others. Um, so we spent a lot of time making sure this past week that, that he's growing and he has actually grown a good bit. So um, this is Mr. Blue. He is 0.8 pounds. So there we go, look at that face. He's actually tied with Mr. Green, who I'll get to in a minute. Um, Mr. Green was a little bit small when he came out and he's gaining weight, but, but Mr. Blue has gained the most weight for the puppies, which is good because he was, he was tiny. So this is Mr. Green, also 0.8. Um, you'll see he's actually still, he looks a little bit bigger than Mr. Blue. Um, he's just not as, uh, I guess, aggressive to get to the food. We have to kind of, you know, he, he gets to eat, but if someone pushes him out of the way, he doesn't really, you know, fight back to get in there. Um, so he eats, I oh, know, say I eat, but I just, I don't, when they, are you looking for to eat right now? but I don't really want to push them out of the way. If they, if they beat me to it, I'll just take a nap. You want down, don't you? So this is Mr. Green. Check out this one. <laughs> and this is Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 1.4 pounds. Um, one of our, our larger males. The girls have the weight one on this litter. Um, over the next couple weeks, more than likely the boys will pass them. But uh, when they came out, especially Miss Yellow, I thought, well, that's a big boy. And then uh, we turned her over and realized that that was a really big girl. So, but this is Mr. Black, 1.4 pounds. And our biggest boy, um, who also is tied with our biggest girl is Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is 1.6 pounds. He likes to eat. 
He likes his mama. See, I eat and then I go away right up next to her. I sure do. I'm a mama's boy. Hmm. So this is Mr. Brown. And I'll just show you the difference in uh, Mr. Brown and Mr. Blue. Um, and you'll see he's definitely smaller. Um, now we've had a, a litter before. It was actually, it was a puppy, Mr. Orange. His name is Archie now. Um, and Archie was about half this size when he was born. And I thought that is going to be the smallest golden retriever. Um, I keep up with them all the time. Archie is 90 pounds now. So to say that, uh, to say this little guy is always going to be small is not necessarily the case. So, um, that's just comparing the biggest puppy with the smallest puppy. Hmm. Each week we'll do these videos. Um, I'll probably usually have them posted by Monday evening. Uh, we live out, out of town basically. Um, we have 22 acres and, and we live way out. So we don't have the best internet. So sometimes um, I do have difficulties getting the videos to upload. If that's the case, I will post on there just so you guys um, aren't just waiting, waiting, waiting. But typically I will always have them on there um, by Monday evening. Look at Miss Perk. That is some good sleep right there. That is some good sleep. <laughs> and this is how they sleep. They will pile on top of each other. Um, this is the box that they actually sleep in, or they stay in 24 seven. This is our whelping box. It has these edges right here so that they can get under there um, so that Dana can't be on top of them so they have a safe place to go and lay. Um, but she's doing great. She's a great mom. This, they've been super easy. Um, the whole delivery process was, was easy. It was great. Um, the easiest by far we've ever had for 10 puppies. We've had some that have gone four hours between having a puppy. Um, but Dana was pretty steady. Once she started, it was one right after another. Are you dreaming? Are you dreaming? All right, guys. Well, the next couple weeks, I'll have a lot of information. Um, we'll, we'll be posting on their supplies that we recommend, um, some information I recommend that you guys read up on just to know do's and don'ts with your puppies. So I will be in touch with you guys. The blog is where I post everything. It's the easiest way for me to, to reach everybody at once. If you have any questions, feel free to, to email me, but we will see you all back here next week.